Welcome to the Learning Royal. Today we'll be presenting AMC 8 2019 Problems 1 to 5. So let's begin. Problem 1 states, I can might go into a sandwich shop with a total of $30 to spend. Sandwiches cost $4.50 each and soft drinks cost $1 each. I can might plan to buy as many sandwiches as they can and use any remaining money to buy soft drinks. Counting both sandwiches and soft drinks, how many items would they buy? So first, uh, we shall have uh, we have to calculate how many sandwiches they bought, and we can just say that 30 divided by 4.5 is going to give us the maximum sandwiches they bought, and then only the integer value in this will uh, be the answer, which is six sandwiches. Now we need to use the remaining money to buy any uh, amount of soft drinks that we can. So uh, we do 30 minus 4.5 times 6, and from that we get $3 is left over, and using that money, we can uh, buy as many soft drinks as we can, which is just 3 divided by 1, which is 3. Now we have 3 soft drinks and 6 sandwiches, so in total we get 9 uh, items, so therefore D, 9 is the correct answer. Next problem is, three identical rectangles are put together to form rectangle ABCD as shown in the figure below. Given that the length of the shorter side of each of the smaller rectangles is 5 feet, what is the area in square feet of rectangle ABCD? So first let's enlarge this diagram a bit. And now we know that each of the shorter sides of each of the smaller rectangles is 5 feet, so let's go on and label those in our diagram. So we have these sides. Now, in order to find an area, we need the uh, side length, uh, the side length of AB and BC, which is just the length and the width. And we know that BC is just going to be five plus five, uh, since we know that uh, one of these sides right here is uh, the same as the same length as BC. So we have a total of ten for the length, and uh, for the width, uh, what we can do is fifteen because we know that. Uh, this is 10. That means that since this is 10, these are all identical. That means this side will also be 10, uh, 10 feet. Therefore, 10 plus our uh, remaining 5 gives us 15 feet as the width. And therefore, length times width, the area is 150 feet squared. Therefore, the answer is 150. Next problem is. Which of the following is the correct order of the fractions 15 by 11, 19 by 15, and 17 by 13 from least to greatest? The first step is make sure all the fractions have common denominators. This might be a little tedious to you uh, by hand, but uh, you have it's the fastest way to compare. So we have these three fractions. Basically saying the uh, denominator is 11 times 13 times 15. In this case, we do not need to uh, calculate what this value is because that does not make a difference in our uh, ordering of the fractions. So we'll go on to compare the numerators alone. And from the first fraction, we get that the numerator is 2,925. Second fraction's numerator is 2,717. The third fraction's numerator is 2,805. From this, we can say that uh, the least amount is of 90 over 15, because it has the least value after getting as a common denominator, and after that would be 17 over 13, and then 15 over 11. Therefore, the answer is E. Quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus with a perimeter of 52 meters. The length of the diagonal AC is 24 meters. What is the area in square meters of rhombus ABCD? So, as uh, we have a diagram here, let's enlarge that. And first, we know that the perimeter is 52 meters, so in order to find one side, we know that the rhombus has uh, equal four sides. So 52 divided by four is just 13. That means one side, which let's say it's AB in this case, is 13 meters long. We know that the area of a rhombus is half times uh, diag multiplying both of these diagonals together. So, all we need to find is the length of the diagonals AC and BD. We already know the length of the diagonal AC, which is 24 meters. But in order to find BD, we need to uh, use a method 
in which we make a right triangle. So if we know that they're bisect the diagonals are bisecting each other, we can make a right triangle and the a to the midpoint and midpoint to c are equal. So we can make this right triangle and half of AC is there for 12. And since we have this right triangle here, we can use a Pythagorean theorem. And since this is a special right triangle, uh, 12, and the missing value is 5, and the hypotenuse is 13. So therefore, half of BD is 5. Therefore, the whole length of BD is 10. And all we need to do is multiply 24 times 10 divided by 2, which will give us 120. The answer is B. A tortoise challenges a hare to a race. The hare eagerly agrees and quickly runs ahead, leaving the slow moving tortoise behind. Confident that he will win, the hare stops to take a nap. Meanwhile, the tortoise walks at a slow, steady pace for the entire race. The hare wakes and runs to the finish line only to find the tortoise already there. Which of the following graphs matches the description of the race, showing the distance z traveled by the two animals over time, t, from start to finish? So first, we can uh, we can easily eliminate uh, d and e, because we know that the hare uh, was moving, uh, took a break in the middle, right? But the tor uh, tortoise was constantly moving at a constant pace, so... Therefore, we can just eliminate D, C, and E right on the spot. The E can be eliminated because uh, the hair is not, uh, when it takes a break, it is not moving ahead uh, at all. So uh, that's why E is eliminated as well. So E is gone, C is gone, and E is gone. Now, between A and B, we know that the tortoise is uh, going to win the race, right? So slow and steady wins the race is the moral of the story. So that means that B is the correct answer because A shows that the hare got to the finish line first, whereas that is not the case. So that can be eliminated as well. Therefore, B is the correct answer. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you like our solutions and please make sure to share this video and like it as well as subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.